All right, so we're ready for the 2.2 tutorial. This is going to be 2.2, number 33, part A. Now, what we've got here is a whole bunch of data. It's up at the top of the page, and it says we're supposed to construct a frequency distribution. And you might want to notice right here before you go away, it says the, with the first class having a lower class limit of 24,000 and a class width of 3,000. Hmm. Okay. So there's no good way to do this. Let me, let's do it this way. Lower class limit. And it said to make the lower class limit 24,000. So I'm going to type that in. And then over here, I'm going to type upper class limit. Just for my own sanity. Oops, I forgot to capitalize that. There we go. All right, now it said the lower class limit was 24,000. Let me double click and make that bigger. Then it said the class width is 3,000. Okay, what that means is that the difference between this new class limit I'm about to create and the last one has to be 3,000. So that means this one is equal to that guy, 24,000, plus 3,000, right? Cell C2 plus 3,000. Let's press Enter. That makes this lower class limit 27,000. And then wait for it. You can scroll down, right? pick up the handle and drag it down and that'll make it bigger. Look at that. We can go further. And I have no idea how how many there are in this data set or how high it goes because it's all a mess, right? It's got low numbers and high numbers, but we can sort this to kind of catch ourselves. So let's click on the A, go to data and go to A to Z sort. Put it in order, right? From lowest to highest. See that? So I can see my lowest number is 24,360, and my highest number is 47,515. So I, I don't need this class right here, and I don't need this class right here. right? Well, let me leave that one in there just for you to see. It's 48,000. All right, now what does this mean for my upper class limits? This upper class limit has to be right below 27,000. So what that means is it's 26,999. Technically, it's 0 .9999999 forever. But we don't need that many decimal places. This data set has no decimals, so I don't need any decimals over here. If it had a decimal point, then you'd add a decimal point. There we go. Now, how far are the upper class limits apart? Well, let me show you. If this sucker is 30,000 down here, then this must be 29999. Now notice how far apart those are. 3,000, right? Just like these are 3,000. That's because the class width has to be consistent through the whole table. So let me type equals that guy plus 3,000. Enter. There's the next one. Look, it's right below that. 30, 33,000, this is 32,999. If you move to the handle and double click and drag it down, there you go. Now you've got all your classes. They're not pretty, but you know, that'll work. Then, let's go over here. We can type the classes if you wanted. I'm not going to bother. Then you could type the frequency. Now all we have to do is figure out how many of these numbers over here fall between 24 and 26,999. So let's see here. I'm going to do the old scroll technique. There we go, 26,839. That's lower than 26,999. But over here is 27, so that's too big. So let me move my mouse up. Now don't pick the mouse cursor up. Look above. Do you see how it says 8RX1C? That means I have eight of these guys. So I'm going to go type eight. And then the next one, between 27 and 29. So let's see. Do, do, do. Scroll, scroll, scroll. There they are. There's 15 of those. And see 15RX1C, that means 15 rows, one column that I had highlighted. So 15. All right, I'm just going to keep filling in these frequencies, and I'll meet you back here for the next part.